whole life, I, all I wanted to do was paint, looking at color my whole life as a little kid. I mean, I never thought that I'd be designing jewels one day. If you would have said that to me, you know, years ago, that one day I'd be doing this, dressing some of the most beautiful women in the world, jeweling them for the most important events of their lives, Oscars. I would say, that you're nuts. I don't want to do that. I want to be a painter. I want to live in New York. You know, I want to have a loft in Soho. Making pieces of jewelry is not like ordering pizza. Hey, Joe, you know, I want a slice of pizza. I want, you know, seven pies with, you know, pepperonis and stuff like that. It's, it's not that simple. The lady came in. She said, oh, I'd like a ring like that. That was like four months ago. It's challenging making a piece of jewelry, a couture, you know, handmade jewelry like they used to make. But I, I love doing it. I, mean, I love looking through, the, through these colored stones. I love choosing it. I love getting a saturation of colors. I was probably inspired by the painter Gustav Klimt from Austria, about 1900. Very, very colorful. I'm using a combination of folk, faceted, round, brilliant cut diamonds, gem quality ones, and then using sort of polished rough. It's a visual feast. I love working with diamond chains. I love working with platinum diamonds, stringing them, uh, using the finest materials to make these long chains. They're actually called setoirs. No one knows what the word setoir means. It's a French word for, for uh, jumping. When I started doing the red carpets, there really wasn't that kind of stuff on the red carpet. There were these sort of heavy, big diamond necklaces, and they looked a little inappropriate for 18-year-olds. And I was thinking, well, what could I offer? So I started making these long chains, which were kind of sexy, glamorous, with a, with a light on the red carpet. They really sparkled, and that became a big hit. Everything we have here, everything you're looking at, is, uh, is handmade, made the old-fashioned way. For myself, I don't think we were ever about the biggest diamond ring. I want someone to say to someone, Oh, what a beautiful ring you have, rather than say, oh, what a big rock you have. I think that's what I'm going after, something beautiful that people really treasure. I think my style is sort of glamorous style, and um, if it's got the spirit of Art Deco or the spirit of the 1930s or 40s, and, and I, I couldn't just do one style, I, I, think, I think my style is, is glamorous.